If you have more than one object in your drawing, and trust me you're going to, you will find that you need to navigate within your drawing. One way to get back and forth in your drawing is to use the pan command. Panning is not that difficult, not anymore. For many releases, we have had real-time panning. That means that you can see where you're panning and the screen moves along with it. There are many ways to get to the pan command. Let's open up a file. Any file's fine, we just need to have something where we can see we're moving in. Open up one you've worked with before, or just draw some objects in there very quickly, it doesn't matter. If you're not in any commands, just sitting around and panning sounds like fun, you can type in the pan command, P-A-N, press enter. You'll get a little hand icon that comes up on your screen. Now the idea of panning is that you grab a hold of a place on your drawing and move it out of the way so that you can see something else. It's kind of like taking a piece of paper or a drawing, holding onto it somewhere, and then moving it across your table. So with the pan command started and activated, click and hold that click somewhere, and now move your mouse. Now you grab that point, and you're moving it from one part of your screen to another part. Then let go. That was a pan. You didn't change any of the objects in your drawing, you're just changing your view. So the entire screen kind of moved. So that's kind of good. So now I can get from this corner to this corner. If you right click, you can exit out of the pan command. Now there are other ways to start the pan command. You can just type the letter P on the keyboard and pan. Hit escape to get out at any time. Because pan, you know, might be too many letters for you to have to type. Or you can find it in the ribbon or find it in the shortcut menu. If you have no command activated, you can right click and hold and go to the pan command. It's right here. You can go to the navigation bar, click the pan command and you can pan around. You can also go up to the ribbon, go to the View tab, the Navigate in 2D panel, and click on the Pan command. Those are great, but nowadays most of us, and me especially, don't even use the Pan command. We just use the scroll wheel on our mouse. So if you have the scroll wheel, and if you don't, please get one. It'll be one of the most efficient based things that you'll be able to do in AutoCAD. Click the scroll wheel, and hold it. Pan around, and let go. <laughs> That's so much easier. And it's transparent. We talked about transparent commands before, and pan was one of them, zoom being another one. You can use the scroll wheel for it while you're in a command. I can draw a line, pan over, and I'm still drawing my line. Quite useful. The pan command, as we said, can be a transparent command. That means you can use it while you're working with another command. Otherwise, you're restricted to using only one command at a time. So I can't draw a line and a circle at the same time, but I can pan while I'm drawing a line or drawing a circle. So if you pick the pan command from anywhere, it will automatically be a transparent command. So that means from the ribbon, from the navigation bar, from my scroll wheel. So if I draw a line, I can come over here to my nav bar, press the pan command, move around, hit escape, and then finish drawing my line. Or again, I can just pan with my scroll wheel and draw my line. Otherwise, if you draw a line, pick your first point, type in an apostrophe, and then type in pan. Press escape when you're finished, then the second point for your line. Most of the time, though, this is kind of a mute point because you're going to use your scroll wheel. What else would you do? Why would you take the time to move your mouse, your cursor, to the nav bar or to fumble through the ribbon just to find the pan command? Use the scroll wheel. But you do have options if you don't have a scroll wheel available. 